what's classed as a good backlink profile for a PBN domain? I'll hand Chris, that over to our resident PBN. Oh, what? Oh, for PBN, sure. Um, you know, I would go to maybe our what is a quality backlink um, uh, tutorial that Chris made and uh, go through that. But basically, it's going to be the same as what makes a good backlink profile for any domain. Um, more natural, higher authority values. Um, so, you know, if something got pressed from uh, high-end editorials or even just n good natural-looking websites, there's good content surrounding your anchors, um, you know, it just looked like a natural business. That's what makes the best PBN. When I go in and try and find a PBN, I'm just looking for something that used to be a business, essentially. So if I can go in, I can see... A, I put it in a refs. I look at the UR or I, I look at um, the anchors. They all seem natural as far as progression of um, uh, branded, naked, etc. Um, and then I go into the backlinks and it's for reputable um, uh, directories, um, backlinks from, from natural press, etc. Um, if it's a good diversified link profile, then I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Now, mind you, PBNs can be different as well because if you're in like a local niche and you're really trying to focus down and maybe the metro is not huge, it's hard to find PBNs for small metros. But even small metro PBNs, if you can find them uh, with niche relevant or metro geographic relevant um, backlinks, even if that's just in the form of like a handful of directories and then maybe like two or three local um, sites like news sites or something along those lines or maybe like a good morning Austin or good morning Round Rock or whatever, what, what have you. Those are actually going to push a lot of geographic relevance. And so sometimes something that doesn't have a huge backlink profile, but it's very niche and, and, and properly categorized for what you're trying to target um, can be a very valuable PBN to you. You know, you get five or six of those at the right target. Um, it's geographic relevance that is very hard to emulate and very hard to find. Um, so it is going to push you. So again, just natural. Yeah, so, so I, you know, I'm, I'm, I like the natural stuff. I'm, you know, I like the relevant links. I like, you know, everything to look nice and pretty. And I think that's what most people go after with, or a lot of people go after with PBN domains. But you've actually, you've actually dabble into the kind of the spammier side of things sometimes as well. Yeah. Stuff that I question and I'm like, I, I, you know, I, th I asked Nick, you know, are you sure about this? Or like, you know, so that's, that's maybe not you can a, talk about that a little bit. That's not a good backlink profile, right? Um, so it might be good because you kind of know how to use it, um, but it's essentially using a spam tactic. So you can take PBNs or old domains that have been really spammed out, but still resonate in the SERPs. And even though you might not be able to build anything worthwhile out of that domain, um, you can use it to push a lot of power. But I would say that's, that's not a good link profile, but yeah, uh, sometimes a really, really spammy domain um, is a nice thing to experiment with as far as PBN building goes. But I would say that's advanced methodology. It's its own kind of science. Um, and it's not an exact science. So sometimes you try it out and it's great. And sometimes you try it out and it isn't so great. Um, you know? Yeah. For the most part, though, yeah, like Nick said, you just want to look for things looking kind of natural. No, you know, you don't want them to look clearly manipulated like they were clearly over manipulated by an seo look for some relevant links it hasn't doesn't have to be a ton you know uh, a, a domain that only has you know 20 or 30 backlinks but they're really nice links that are uh you're in your niche and they're just you know good links um can do a lot of work for you right and, and something else to touch on uh you know pbn is the focus is the home page pushing power so if you can, majority of pages going to the home page is going to help that power a whole lot more. Now, you can do other stuff like 301, uh, all 404s to home page. You don't want to get too aggressive with that as it can pop you. Um, but overall, you know, when you're looking for an ideal PBN, majority of links to the home page. Not to say you can't use um, other ones. I, 
it's not you know something that is a must for me but um, you're going to do better or it's going to be more effective the more that's going to the home page. And of course, maybe some kind of keyword or related keyword in the domain name would be great. Right. <laughs>